Hello, my name is Benoit Baudouin. I'm the president of Made Labs Technologies. Today I will be presenting the Volcac Hybrid for constant speed pumps. This device, as you will see, is very small. It's about 6 inches wide, about 4 inches tall, and just a little bit over 2 inches deep. So it fits anywhere. And it's the kind of device that you can install permanently or use it temporarily in all of the list stations. It will supply so much information about what's going on in your list station. You don't want to spend your time to try to repair pumps if you can know what's going on before it happens, before things become catastrophic. And also it will supply you real-time flow. Let's start immediately with all the features that comes with this device. The most basic type of installation is the one that is used with current clamps. We use current clamps to know when the pumps start, when the pumps stop, and of course how much current is being used by the pumps. We have four inputs for that, and they can be used for up to four pumps. Any of these inputs that are not used to monitor current can be used to monitor anything that is analog, and they can be set to 4 to 20, 0 to 5, or 0 to 10 volt. There's also a built-in battery charger inside the Volicalc. It's like having its own UPS, you just need to add the battery. And there's a 12 volt output out of the Volicalc hybrid so that you can power important devices. For example, you could power a level sensor and a solar modem and during a power failure when the level gets too critical you could receive an alarm telling you that what's going on. We have a RS-45 port on the instrument and it can be used with the watt meter option. The watt meter allows you to record for each phase the voltage and the current for each pump or for the entire control panel. It will calculate of course the power consumption and it will calculate the power factor of this installation. Then you have one digital input. It can be used for different things. If you want to do high and high studies, you might want to record rain and it will get the pulses from the rain gauge and calculate the rain. But it can be used for anything else also. Then we have two label sense inputs, one for level and one for pressure. But like for the pump current input, if they are not used to monitor level and pressure, they can be used to monitor anything else that you want. The Volcac Hybrid can also get its flow rate directly from other meters that could be connected to any of the unused analog inputs. We have six digital output on the Volcac Hybrid. They can be used for dialer, do flow proportional sampling, made to close based on specific type of alarms. Then we have a 4 to 20 milliamp output, which is proportional to the flow calculated in real time when the Volcac Hybrid is connected to an analog level sensor. If it's not connected to an analog level sensor, then it will wait the end of a cycle to calculate the average flow during that cycle. You can give access to internal information through the Modbus protocol with the RS-45 port or the TCP IP Ethernet port. There's a lot of information that can be supplied to external devices like PLCs. The Ethernet port can also be used to communicate through cellular modem, Wi-Fi, or directly connected to, to the Ethernet, to our made maps SCADA software. This software allows to see in real time what's the actual flow on all the devices that are connected to made maps and receive emails of abnormal behaviors at lift stations. Everything is recorded every second with the Volcac Hybrid. It's tremendously big memory allows to record near 10 years of data before it starts to roll over. All the reports can be downloaded to a USB drive or through internet. When major analysis is required using the one second resolution data, then SoftMate is available for that. It will generate evolution reports, graphic reports, diagnostic reports. One third of electrical equipment are showing intermittently abnormal behavior that are not being noticed by users. One third, it's not a joke. The problem is people notice when equipment dies. 
not before. It's so much cheaper to replace a $20 relay than to replace a couple of pumps. It's not a joke. I've seen it. If you're not equipped to analyze what's going on at the lift station, then you're not equipped to save money. It's that simple. Here you have a list of the type of abnormal behaviors that can be detected by the Volcalc Hybrid. People can have their own type of alarms and as many as they want for different purposes. So if the current gets too high or too low for a period that is too long or too short or whatever, they could receive an email telling them, hey, when you have the time, come and check what's going on. And that's how you save money. Also, the Volcac Hybrid is a volumetric flow meter. Why do you want to know flow in lift station? Because when you have flow and when you have power consumption, you're able to calculate the number of gallons pumped per watt of electricity. Why is that useful? It's like number of miles per gallon in your car. If you're doing 50 miles per gallon, it's not important. If your car goes down to 2 miles per gallon, it just became important. So efficiency is a major information that you want to know about because a variation of the power consumption and a variation of the flow rate and a variation of the combination of these two you want to know about because when they change you know something abnormal is going on and you want to be able to act before it becomes expensive. We have made the Volcac hybrid so it's very simple to set it up. We already had preset alarms if you want to use the input for something else, it's just a matter of selecting in the software that comes with the instrument. The Volcac Hybrid generates reports directly on a USB drive or that can be accessible remotely. If you put your USB drive inside the instrument and ask for the monthly report, this is what you will get. It will show you the efficiency of the lift station, but mostly what's important is the percentage of use of the station, which is the volume that went through the station compared to the maximum volume that could go through the station if all the pumps were on 24 hours a day. So that is like the safety margins that you have. And then it shows you the minimum maximum level that you had, how much rain you had if you had the rain gauge connected to it, then how much volume went through that station on that day, the average flow rate you had, the minimum and maximum at what time they were. And of course you have averages and totals for the entire month. Also for each pump, it will show you the number of starts you had the runtime alone and with others, the current that was used by the pump, the volume of water that went through that pump on that day, the efficiency of the pump and the actual capacity of the pump. Of course you have totals for the month, you have that kind of information for each of the pumps and each combination of pumps. Then if anything abnormal occurred during that month, then you have it in the alarm and suspicious event report. So if you have a major change in pump capacity, it will tell you at what time that happened. Every day of the month at midnight, it has a line to the monthly report. All the previous months are available to download on your USB drive or remotely to made maps. Any kind of alarm and suspicious events are displayed on the instrument. That means when someone go to the lift station to do its normal checkup and that person looks at the Volcac Hybrid, the first thing they will see on the display is if there's anything abnormal that was discovered by the instrument since the last visit. And someone has to acknowledge those before he can see the standard information that you're expected to see on the display. The instrument can work completely as a standalone device without any communication. But if you have communication, you can receive alarms, you can see remotely what's going on, you can generate graph, you can export to Excel, you can generate graph on a lot of different type of information. And all these information, you can have tables and all of them can be exported to Excel. You can generate logins for employees and specify what roles they have. Some of them can remotely change the settings of the instrument, while others can only generate reports and acknowledge alarms. When there's an alarm, people receive a, an email with the type of information and location of what was going on. The information then goes in an alarm log. Users can decide what they want to receive alarms on. Everything is easy to configure for the new user. One of the goals that we had when we created MadeMap was to supply to small to medium municipalities all the features that are so expensive to get that only the biggest municipality can afford. So those who use MadeMap do not have to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars to get that kind of customization. It's included with it. 
The information in main map is accessible from any computer or phone or tablet that has access to internet. The SoftMate software allows to analyze data that is being recorded inside the instrument. That means the high resolution information, the one that is recorded every second, like level, pressure, current, flow rate, all these things are recorded every second by the instrument. But to view that kind of information, you need a good software. And that's what SoftMade is all about. It also generate reports. Different type of equipment fail different ways. In the first graph, we can see an analog level sensor that works properly. Most of the time, level sensors start to fail by having kind of peaks that are not where they should be and sometimes goes back to normal. With real-time volumetric flow, you can see that during a very long cycle, where the level just goes up or down during a two-hour cycle, you can see what type of flow rate that is being calculated by the Volcac Hybrid. Another benefit of real-time flow is that it's using the analog level sensor to calculate flow and not the pump start and stop. In the lift station where higher levels are used during dry days to operate the pumps in order to save energy, the Volcac will continue to calculate flow properly. When you're pacing a sampler proportional to flow rate and you have a very long cycle and the sampler will take a sampling at the wrong rate if you're waiting at the end of that cycle to calculate the pulse rate. And the other graph, what we see is what happens when a float or a relay became defective. In this case, the relay that starts the pump and supposed to stay on until the pump stop was defective. So the pump was starting, stopping, starting, stopping until the pump burns. On the last one, you see what's the water hammer effect on the force main. It can take up to three minutes for the pressure to get back to normal. So there's a lot of analysis that can be done with soft made just with the graphic mode. I mean, what I like the most is the lift station evaluation report. You get so much information about what's going on in the lift station by just pressing print. You know how many starts you had, you know the number of hours they ran, you know the number of suspicious events that were detected, meaning events that were in this case shorter than 10 seconds. This software used the most accurate volumetric flow calculation that is available based on the type of events that happen in the past and the future to get the highest accuracy possible at each cycle. So when you see an average pump capacity that is based on 1,894 flow calculation, you know that this is accurate. One thing that this report shows also for pump number two you can see that near half the water went through the worst pump. So the one that pumps the lowest amount of gallons per watt of electricity. And this is a normal thing. When you alternate between pumps, usually the worst pump is the one with the lowest flow rate. And then you use this pump the most because it got a lower flow rate. That means it will take a longer time to pump out. Since it takes a longer time to pump out, but you have the same number of cycle between all of the pumps, Therefore, your worst pump is the one that is used the most, which means this pump will become worse faster and you will use them more because of it. In this case of this report here at that lift station, the user was wasting $3,619 per year on electricity because of that pump. If you would just have put pump number two on standby mode, you would probably have so saved $3,500 per year. So that's the kind of information this report gives. It's important to do this not only once a year, to know where you should act first in order to save money. We're using a highly sophisticated flow algorithm to calculate flow. In the early 1990s, we developed a product that was sold in a few thousands. It was a volumetric flow meter. And one thing we learned with this one was one third of the list station had problems in calculating flow. Sometimes we were receiving a file from a customer and he was telling us, your device is not calculating flow properly. So we were analyzing the file. Then we discovered there was something abnormal going on, which was intermittent. Then we were adding a what if in the software to compensate for this anomaly. Back in 1999, there was over 129 what if in that software. So when I see people programming in their SCADA system in half a day, that flow rate is volume divided by time, and they never assume that lift station might not work properly all the time, and therefore not calculating flow properly all the time, I feel like laughing because they are doing the same errors I did. It took us a while to figure it out and find algorithm that compensate for everything so far, 
because I'm sure we'll find something else one day. Would you use a measuring tape that might give you the right measurements? No. Why would you do it for flow? The information is not useful enough. That's why you want a real volumetric flow meter in your system. The Calc Hybrid records everything every second, calculate flow in and flow out at each cycle. When there's something abnormal going on, you can go back to visit what was going on at each cycle, cycle per cycle. What was calculated in, what was calculated out, uh, was there any kind of events that were too short to be normal? That's the kind of information that you get using the software. A lot of accessories are available for the Volcac Hybrid. Most of the Volcac Hybrid we have sold were using current lamps to detect when the pumps are starting and stopping and the actual level sensor that was already in the lift station. We always suggest to use a current isolator when using the local level sensor. This way we're completely disconnected from the system while we're getting the level information which allow us to make sure that the level sensor is working properly, by the way. There's different ways to install it. It can be in a, its own panel. It can be screwed to the front door of the control panel, or it can be just uh, clipped on the DIN rail. If you want a quote on the Volcac Hybrid, for each lift station that you want a quote on, make a copy of page 15 and just specify how many pumps you have in it. What's the size of these pumps? Do you need an ultrasonic sensor or something to record the level? But that's optional. You don't need to get level. It's just that you won't have real-time flow if you don't have level. We strongly suggest you have some kind of communication with the Volcac Hybrid, like using a solar modem or Wi-Fi, in order to get alarms and to be able to download data. One feature I have not mentioned is that if you have a, an outflow pipe coming out of your lift station so that the, the water is diverted somewhere else if you have a high level, then you can specify an open channel formula to calculate the volume of water that is diverted to another site because the Volcal Hybrid is also an open channel flow meter. You can select what type of uh, where you have or flumes or formulas you want to use and it will calculate based on that. Of course, you need an analog level sensor. The Volcac Hybrid has a three-year warranty, part and labor. If you need more information about the Volcac Hybrid, contact your Made Labs representative or contact us directly, and we'll be pleased to answer any kind of question you might have. Thank you.